There are often lots of misconceptions about color depth at GCSE. Some students think it's the number of colors an image has, which is not. The color depth is the number of bits per pixel. Now this does give you the number of colors we have. And so a higher color depth does give you a higher quality image because it can have more colors. But because we are storing more bits per pixel, it will also have a bigger file size. Well, here is a black and white image. If I'm going to assign each pixel a binary value, I might pick one for black and zero for white. This has a color depth of one bit and it gives me two colors, black and white. So we can see immediately the color depth is not the number of colors it has, it's the number of bits. If I wanted to add another color, I need to add a second bit to the pixel because one bit's not enough to cover three options. So I might assign these binary numbers instead. So this is now a color depth of two bits. And I've only got three colors here, but actually I could have space for four. So if I wanted to, I could stick in a fourth color as well. And this relationship between the color depth and the number of colors is this. The number of colors is equal to two to the power of your color depth. So let's say the question is with a color depth of four bits, how many colors can the image have? Well, we are doing two to the power four, and this is 16. So the answer is four bits gives us up to 16 colors. And look at it from the other angle. Let's say the question is I need 32 colors. What is my minimum color depth? Well, here we need to work backwards. We need to think to ourselves two to the power something is equal to 32. And that something is actually five. So here the minimum color depth is five bits.